everyone. Hi. My name is Robin Lynn Helgett. I was born on December 10th, 1990. I was 24 years old when I died. A year and a half after my death, I woke from the dead. I didn't rise from the ground after being buried like a born-again Jesus. I woke up from the living hell I was in inside my head and my body after I became a part of a statistic. I became the one in four women who would be raped in their lifetime. I thought I had my life in control. I perfectly planned out agenda that was color-coded and sticky-noted as warnings for the hard times coming in ahead so I would be prepared. Except this wasn't in my plans. And though for the year and a half I was technically still alive, I was physically breathing. I was going through the motions like a robot. I was without a heart like the Tin Man, and some days I still prefer that over the other choice of feeling the pain that comes from being raped and from living with post-traumatic stress disorder. The light switch keeps fluttering off and on and on and off and I cannot see straight. The light flickers and I feel like I'm in the middle of a bad Alice in Wonderland skit. It's a mad world, they say. It's a mad world, they say. Yes, it's a mad, mad world. When memories haunt you like the ghosts from your past and stay asleep during the day but come alive during the night, make it impossible to get some rest. I cannot just get over it. When the weight of the world lies on my chest, make it impossible to breathe, and you ask me, what did you do to cause him to rape you? I cannot just stop worrying about it. When every corner you take, you fear that he will be there, standing, lurking with a smirk on his face and lust in his eyes, and each time he's not there, you lose trust in yourself piece by piece, I cannot just move on when the trust of the world you had placed in yourself is stolen from you. My mind screams, who asks for this? So yes, it's a mad world, it's a mad world, and it's a sad world, and bad things can happen to you at any moment. Terrible horrors are happening outside each day, and I become triggered by a smell or a sound or a dirty look that tells my brain, you are not safe. And my brain starts to freak out, and tells my body to become anxious and I can't breathe, but then something happens. I hear a voice. I hear a whisper and it says, my darling, you can get through hard things. You can overcome the pain. You can become a voice and a voice I have become. I no longer am paralyzed by the feelings inside and the fear that sometimes hides because I decided to rise. I decided to show up and to confront the demons lurking inside me and the memories that scream like nails on a chalkboard. I decided to talk to someone and to admit that I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. And you have done nothing wrong. My darling, your memories are not your truth. Your pain is not your reality. Your reality is your ability to wake up each morning and to decide that you are going to live. Your reality is waking up and choosing to prove to the rest of the world, and more importantly, to yourself, wrong. Your reality is who you choose to become, not what has happened to you. And though it's still important to recognize and reflect, it is not all of you, it's just a part of you. Just like the color of your eyes, like the person you are when no one else is around, like the way you light up when you see the person you love. You are not defined by the inner demons that someone else put inside of you. You are not a victim of your circumstances, but the warrior that wakes up each day with fire in your eyes. You are not broken. You are not weak. And it is not your fault. It's a mad world, they say. It's a mad world, they say. But it's a beautiful world. It's a beautiful world if you choose to look for it. Like the sun in the wake of a morning light, I choose to rise. My name is Robin Lynn Helgett, and I was born on December 10th, 1990. I was 24 years old when I died, but I was 26 years old when I discovered my greatest potential and became fully alive. Still, I have my hard days. Still, some days the memories still haunt me. But still, like the sun in the wake of a morning light, I rise. Thank you.